वेलकम टू ई पी पाठशाला फिलोसफी आई एम सच्चिदानंद मिश्र प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिलोसफी एंड रिलीजन बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी वाराणसी आई एम गोइंग टू टू एक्सप्लेन द दिस मॉड्यूल अर्थापत्ति द मीमांसा न्याय डिबेट एंड दिस इज रिलेटेड टू लॉजिक कोर्स लॉजिक टू एंड द कंटेंट राइटर ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल इज डॉक्टर निर्माल्य गुहा In Indian philosophical tradition, perception is taken to be uh, the praman of which is accepted by every philosopher. And second comes anuman, inference. Inference is also accepted may by many, except one that is charvak. So in the way there are certain pramanas which are accepted by some philosophers, some schools, and are not accepted by other schools. so in this category falls this praman arthapatti there are mimamsakas as well as vedantins who try to say that arthapatti should be given um, a separate status it should be taken as a separate kind of praman it is not reducible to other pramanas therefore arthapatti is a separate kind of praman it is a, a praman uh, which is uh, giving us a new piece of information that is a praman in this context and the arthapatti is such a kind of praman which is not reducible to other pramanas if it were reducible to other pramanas it should not be taken as a separate kind of praman so this is one point of view and there is another point of view uh, and that is of um, nayayikas and also there are uh, buddhist philosophers to who could be included in this debate and they will be here uh, in, in in the side of nayayikas because nayayikas do not accept arthapatti as a separate praman they are willing to say that arthapatti is very well reducible to inference and in the position um, proposed by buddhist philosophers uh, according to them uh, this arthapatti would also be reducible to inference so here i am going to introduce you this debate between nyaya and mimamsa what is the nyaya position and what is the mimamsa position we will discuss in this module so uh, first uh, we concentrate what is the nature of arthapatti praman how arthapatti praman is defined understood in mimamsa tradition so it is said drishtah shruto va arthah anyatha nopapadyate atah arthantar kalpana arthapatti so this is the definition found in shabara bhasya and the meaning of this definition is that the thing the ob, uh, the thing or the object which is seen or listen to if not possible in any other way we postulate something and that is the process of arthapatti so it is something different from anuman how were in case of inference we do uh, simply the same kind of thing when we are inferring fire in the mountain we see uh, f- fire we we don't see fire in the mountain but we perceive only smoke coming out of mountain and we infer that there is a fire in the mountain and in this case also we can say the thing the uh, smoke which is coming out of mountain is not possible if there were uh no fire at all so the smoke is coming the out of mountain and it is seen in mountain and it if there were no fire in the mountain the presence of smoke couldn't be justified couldn't be there the smoke wouldn't have been there unless there is fire in the uh, mountain so in this case this, this is the case of inference very clearly everybody accept that this is the case of inference and we can say that this uh, criteria this 
डिफिनेशन विच आर विच इज पॉस्टुलेटेड सिंपली इज अप्लीकेबल टू इन्फ्लुएंस आल्सो बट व्हाई डू द मीमांसक आज से दैट दिस इन्फ्लुएंस इज अ सेपरेट काइंड ऑफ प्रमाण एंड अर्थापत्ति इज समथिंग डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दिस एंड देयर आर सर्टेन रीजंस एंड सर्टेन रीजंस आर देयर दोज आर दिस दैट इन केस ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंस वी acquire the knowledge of vyapti through observation and in case of arthapatti uh, it is not so much necessary to have uh, observation at all therefore this try to say that it is not the simple way of inferring seeing something and uh, inferring something else so this is not the case at all according to mimansakas let us take two examples one example i have taken of inference and another example uh, let us take of uh, arthapatti so the point the picture will be clear so the example of arthapatti and it is very famous example uh, that devadatt is seen fat very uh, fat but he is not seen eating in the day so in this case uh, there is a, a point uh, pinoyam devadattah diva na bhumte this devadatt is very fat but doesn't eat in the day what it postulates on this statement uh, from this knowledge we conclude we postulate that devadatt eats in the nights because without eating it is not possible to be fat to be healthy and devadatt is healthy and devadatt is fat so it is very necessary that devadatt must be eating uh, at some time but he is not eating in the day so he must eat in the night it is reduced from this uh, argument so if this reduction is a product of a separate kind of praman this is the uh, mimansa position and the nayayika say no this should not be taken as a case of uh, arthapatti but it is not case of postulation but it is a case of uh, inference let us take another example also and this is also very famous example in mimansa tradition uh, suppose somebody uh, went to the home of devadatt and not seeing devadatt at home what he concludes he asks some person whether there is a devadatt in the house and he came to know uh, from the answer given by someone that no devadatt is not at home so he concludes okay it means devadatt is uh, out of house he is not at home and he will be somewhere he will be out uh, in the market or somewhere so what is there here what is happening you told that devadatt is not at home but the listener concludes that devadatt is uh, not uh, devadatt is somewhere else in the, in the market and uh, out of the home so this understanding of out of home is a product of arthapatti praman this is uh, the mimansa position why this is this is a mimansa pra- position this why this is arthapatti because the point is that uh, it cannot be reduced to inference because when you are inferring there are certain things must be there in order to infer two are basic necessities one is vyapti and second is paksha dharmata so here a uh, hetu is what is the hetu this is the question would come that hetu we should be there and uh, between sadhya and hetu there must be vyapti and that hetu must be present in paksha so paksha dharmata is required vyapti is required uh, and uh, uh, hetu should be there uh, in clear clear form so he, in this case what is the hetu this would be uh, very difficult to answer what is the hetu you are inferring because you are told that uh, devadatt is not at home and devadatt is not at home it 
can you cannot reduce from this that devdatta is out of the home because you have to add one another piece of information to it because there are possibilities that if devdatta is not at home he might have died but you infer that he is out so if he is, he is died he is dead then uh, you cannot say that the inference the, the conclusion that devdatta is out of house uh, would not be a proper conclusion it would not be a good conclusion because it it is not verifiable it is not true to um, it is not corresponding to the facts so in this case this would not be a case of pramana at all if this were the case so, but in this case when you are saying that devdatt is not at home one is uh, concluding that devdatt is out of the house so this conclusion can be drawn only if there is another piece of information that devdatt is alive so if devdatt is alive and he is not at home then it is good to conclude uh, we have ground to conclude that devdatt is out of the house so this would be uh, the case of uh, arthapatti and it cannot be uh, reducible to perception and there is no problem it is very well understood that it cannot be re reduced to perception whether it can be reduced to inference this is the uh, basic problem the basic issue between mimansa and nyaya so nayayikas are of this opinion that it can be understood in the form of inference and actually there, there are two kinds of uh, arthapattis one arthapatti is known as drishtarthapatti and another is known as shrutarthapatti and these two examples which i gave you first one pinoyam devadatta diva na bhangte devadatta is fat but he doesn't eat in the day this is the case of drishta arthanupapatti because we observe very clearly we see very clearly that devadatta is fat and we also observe that devadatta is not eating in the day so this is drishta arthapatti and what is shruta arthapatti this is the uh, case of shruta arthapatti when you are told that no devadatta is not at home so you have not observed this fact whether devadatta is not um, whether devadatta is at home or not but uh, you are told that devadatta is not at home so this information is coming through oh, words shabdas the shabda praman so this when this information is coming from shabda praman it is taken to be uh, the case of shruta arthapatti because it is listened to it is heard and from that ground you are inferring so in uh, anuman there is anumeya anu uh, there is something anumeya and uh, there is a hetu through which you infer clearly hetu is present there and here in these two cases we can observe very clearly that uh, we have to formulate what is hetu simply you cannot say that this is hetu like the example we observe when we infer fire in the mountain parvatah vanyaman dhumat the mountain is fiery because of smoke so in this case smoke is taken there as hetu but here if you take these two examples one example is that uh, devadatta diva na bhungte this this is abhojan not eating not eating is not capable of proving that devadatt eats in the night and second example not being at home is not able to prove the existence of devadatt uh, out of the house so what is uttered as hetu that is not able to prove the existence of sadhya uh, and what is able to prove the existence of sad that is not propounded as hetu so it would not be possible here to um, to take these example to accommodate these examples in case of inference because in inference there is hetu 
clearly understood and sadh is also very clearly mentioned and in these cases it is not happening at all so how to conclude that this is a case of inference or this is the case of arthapatti so mimansakas are saying that this is the case of arthapatti because if you are uh, taking it as a case of anuman it would not be possible to locate it because there is a one point that one thing is needed that is paksha dharmata paksha dharmata gyan is required paksha dharmata presence of hetu in paksha is required site uh, locatedness you can say so this is required presence of hetu in paksha is in simple way we can understand when paksha dharmata is said what is the meaning of paksha dharmata is presence of hetu in paksha so what is propounded as hetu here it is propounded it is said that he doesn't eat in the day so it is not capable not eating in the day is not able to prove the eating in the night unless it is it is supported by uh, a further argument a further fact that he is fat in spite of not eating in the day so if you take all these uh, together then you can say that it now it is possible but there is would be another difficulty why shouldn't we accept that this whole set is taken uh, to be hetu and on that ground we can infer sadhya so there is another difficulty because there is a need of vyapti between sadhya and hetu it is never observed everywhere it is never observed everywhere the distinction can be um, uh, classified understood clearly in case of inference in in the fire where we infer fire in the mountain on the basis of smoke we have observed many times that see there are certain cases where smoke is present and fire is also present but in this case you won't be able to pick out any example where uh, there is the person who is not eating in the day but Uh, eating in the night and fat so such kind of any observation is not possible anywhere because you have observed that because eating when one is eating he is getting healthier he is getting fatty but when he is not uh, eating in the day but eating in the night and getting fat it is a peculiar thing it is never observed before so this is the clear distinction between the case of inference and arthapatti because in arthapatti between sadhya and hetu the the presence of sadhya and hetu together is absent it is not observed at all you it would not be proper to say that it is absent completely but it is not observed at all but in case of inference the presence of hetu and sadhya together is observed clearly so this is very simple difference distinction between arthapatti and inference so we cannot include uh, um, anuma arthapatti uh, into inference and we should grant arthapatti a separate status and we should accept that arthapatti is a separate kind of a praman so let let us take another example also what have um, what we have proposed just now that uh, when we see that devadatt is not at home so we conclude that devadatt is out of the house so here what is the conclusion what is to be proved here what we prove through this reasoning we prove that devadatt is not at home but it is uh, out of the home out of his home so presence uh, in presence out of the house is to be proved this is the sadhya bahir vrittitva bahir vrit presence outside of the home this is the sadhya 
एंड वाट यू विल प्रपोज एज हेतु यू विल प्रपोज एज हेतु दैट नॉट बींग एट होम इन स्पाइट ऑफ बींग अलाइव बट वेदर हैव वी ऑब्जर्वड इट समवेयर वी हैव नॉट ऑब्जर्व इट समवेयर we have observed simply the existence of presence of uh, somebody is alive and uh, somebody is existent but we have not observed it clearly in this form so there is a, there will be no vyapti grahan no ascertainment of vyapti universal concomitance so if there is no universal concomitance is possible uh ascertainment of universal concomitance is possible then how could we say that this is a case of inference but the nayayikas say that actually this is a case of inference and their position is something different and the position is uh, position they take that we can reduce very clearly that there is a this is the case of inference Gangesha gives one very familiar example to um, understand the case of inference and the example is that uh, he postulates that there we have uh, seen we, we have observed that if there is a dance uh, that dance either be in the on the hill or at somewhere else be a hill or a non hill anything and can be the locus of um, the dance the dance of peacock so the dance of peacock must have a locus this is the necessity what is the no locus if it is known that this is not the locus it is concluded that another one is the locus of that dance so if there there, um, there is this proposition that the pe peacock's dance is not occurring on a non hill therefore we conclude that peacock is dancing on hill because what is happening here this is very simply can be understood in the same way as we we discussed the case of arthapatti in arthapatti it is happening the, all those examples could be accommodated in the same form they are they can be formulated in the same form and here it is said that there is a vyapti actually and in this case if something is uh, negated then in the same process another what is not negated that it that, that is coming to the conclusion so if it is said that uh, devadatt is not eating at all devadatt is not eating at all then it is not possible to be a fat so if he is getting fat and not eating in the day it makes a sound ground that the they the person devadatt would be eating in the night so this is in the clear case example of inferential process so according to nayayikas all this can be accommodated in the scenario of inference and here generally when we say that sadhya and hetu uh, those should be known together related because there is a need of a knowledge of sahacharya niyam being present together so here in the same form however it is not conceived they are not observed but this is very clearly understandable that they are there is actually vyapti and this vyapti is understood between uh, that sadhya with being alive and either being at home or being um, out of the house being fat between being fat and eating in the night or in the day so if one part is negated another part is asserted this is the case of um, arthapatti what you consider what the mimamsakas consider to be the case of uh, another praman but the nayayika say that it is not the case that um, arthapatti cannot be taken to be uh, included in inference there is 
केवलम बितरे की इन विच दिस अर्थापत्ति कैन बी अंडरस्टूड बिकॉज इट इज नॉट सिंपली ऑब्जर्वड बट अर्थापत्ति इज सच केस वेयर इट इज ऑल्सो नॉट ऑब्जर्वड क्लियरली दैट इफ द थिंग इज देयर एंड द सपोज ए इज हेतु एंड बी इज साध्य सो इट इज नॉट ऑब्जर्व देयर दैट इफ ए इज देयर बी इज ऑलवेज देयर बट अपोजिट टू इट इज ऑब्जर्वड सो अपोजिट टू इट इज ऑब्जर्वड ऑन दैट ग्राउंड वी कैन इन्फर वी कैन से दैट एक्चुअली दिस इज अ केस ऑफ इन्फ्रेंस बिकॉज इन इन्फ्रेंस वी कैन इंक्लूड दिस अर्थापत्ति टाइप ऑफ प्रमाण ऑल्सो विदाउट एनी बेनी विदाउट पॉस्टुलेटिंग दैट अर्थापत्ति इज अ सेपरेट काइंड ऑफ प्रमाण so the nayikas are of this opinion that we need not accept arthapatti is a separate kind of praman to conclude in this chapter we have observed that these there are certain issues certain dialogues uh, between mimansa and nyaya mimansakas are of this opinion that arthapatti should be taken to be सेपरेट काइंड ऑफ प्रमाण एंड नयायिका से नाइन दो देर इज नो नीड ऑफ एक्सेप्टिंग दैट दिस इज अ सेपरेट एपेस्टमिक इंस्ट्रूमेंट दिस इज नॉट ए सेपरेट प्रमाण सो वेन वी कम टू गंगेश टिल गंगेश इट इज वेरी क्लियर दैट दे आर पॉस्टुलेटिंग दिस दे आर प्रपाउंडिंग दिस न्याय व्यू दैट अर्थापत्ति इज नॉट सेपरेट काइंड ऑफ प्रमाण बट इट इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू नोट दैट इन न्याय ऑल्सो देर वॉज अ फिलोसोफर रघुनाथ शिरोमणि हु ट्राई टू डिफेंड द मीमांसा पोजिशन एंड ही सेज दैट अर्थापत्ति शुड बी एक्सेप्टेड एज अ सेपरेट काइंड ऑफ प्रमाण हाउ एवर देर इज वन पॉइंट हिज आर्ग्यूमेंट्स आर समथिंग डिफरेंट he is not saying that arthapatti cannot be uh, reduced to anuman but his point is that however it is possible that you can reduce arthapatti to anuman but what whether ye kai ye praman is a different kind of praman is it is not the ground that if it is reducible or not it, it can serve one ground but there is another ground and that is more important to note that if you are having same kind of feeling when you are inferring and when you are uh, knowing something through arthapatti praman and certainly there are not the same kinds of feeling feelings when you infer you know that aham vannim anuminomi there is such kind of feeling and when there is arthapatti we don't have such kind of feeling but this is called anubhyavasaya so we don't have such kind of anubhyavasaya that aham anuminomi rather there is a separate kind of anubhyavasaya that is aham arthapayami i postulate it such kind of feeling is there so we should depend upon that feeling and accept that arthapatti is a separate kind of praman uh, as raghunath shiromani says but uh, the accepted view is that arthapatti should not be taken as a separate praman this is the nayayika accepted view and raghunath could not find much followers who support his position that arthapatti is a separate kind of praman you may consult the learn more sex section on the chapter on this module and also the e text thank you very much